just doesn't make sense that a continent this big has no life. Next week we're going to be drilling a hole through a thousand meters of ice and we don't even know what's under there. Isn't that exciting? Might not even be water there, holy crap, <laughs> you know, I mean we're going in totally the unknown. I think there's just something about going to the unknown. It's nothing like what you really think it is. But when you get to the field camp, that's when you really find out what it's like to work in Antarctica. Home sweet home. When you have a continent that's almost completely covered by ice, and all that ice has the potential to melt and raise sea level, you certainly want to understand its history. And some of those clues are held in the lake sediments. There's the basic science curiosity aspect, too, of knowing how and where life exists on Earth. If we do the best we can, we're advancing science, I guarantee you. 3 a.m. playing with mud, living the absolute dream. So this is all dairy farm stuff. Hey, when you hire farmers to build your trail, that's what you get. It's a complicated mechanical system that if it breaks, you're in the middle of nowhere to fix. You never know, it's Antarctica, it can always bite you. We're apparently stuck on something. We gotta get this out of the hole, we can't use the hole at all. This is dangerous, right? We're gonna lose this if we don't care for it. Yeah. We have a very limited amount of time. You only get one chance. Showtime. Everyone thought it was this big, dead, benign block of ice. That is way different than I pictured it. But there's some big lakes under this ice. Some of the largest lakes on our planet are under this ice. And we just have to get there.